Hello and welcome to Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town, where it is day 14 of spring and a sunny day. And also no birthdays today. Good morning, Magnolia. Snowdrop. Lisette is already on her adventures of the day. I'm just going to sell all of these. Not bother even processing the milk and eggs. We have um, plenty of milk and eggs to process just um, from our own animals. Let's see, do these all go into the fridge? Yes. Okay. So now that we have an empty inventory, once again, let's go see the Earth Sprites. is always nice because we do end up making that twine quite a bit and it takes a lot of grass to make sell these and the iron and we'll go put the rest of this stuff into its place let's Get these grasses out of here. Oops. The, uh, that one too. There. Now everything's in its right place. Uh, we have a lot of flexible grass here. But unfortunately, we don't really have any room in the shipping bin. Um, yeah, we'll keep the flexible grass for now. We'll probably sell some when we don't have all that many other things to sell. Let's see about that star snapper. We'll make once again five of the giant nets, but this time they will be for the first farm area. Because I think that's the area where I've got the starfish from when fishing with these giant nets. Let's just go and see. Oh yeah, star snapper. No, not starfish. But um, yeah, this is the area. And we now have quite a few star snappers to our name. We'll put as many as we can into... Oh. Okay. Okay. 
There. Some in there and we'll sell some of these processed animal products. And we can put some of these fish into here. And we'll put that one into the fridge. I think we had one free slot in here. Yep. And the mayo can go in there as well. Right. Let's go see about our autumn garden. What's going on in here? We have an eggplant harvest. Sweet potatoes too. Oops. And okra. And seeds. Um, we also the spinach. We already have some eggplant seeds over there. So yeah, we'll sow the spinach seeds and we'll make okra and sweet potato seeds. Oops. There. And one ordinary one. And then the okra. Let's harvest these. And the golden apples. And let's get out of here. We'll put the golden apples and round eggplants in here. And the rest of this stuff goes into the fridge. We don't have room in the shipping bin. There. Now we can go look after our animals. Once we have cleared this yard. Oh, there's a sapling here too. Hello, Blossom. Daisy. Arlo. Acacia, Dandelion, Ash, and Ophelia. Thank you all so much for the fur and wool. Come on out. Hello Mimosa, Columbine, Saffron, Ginger, Geranium, Hibiscus, Coco and Sonnet 
Thank you all so much for the milk. Come on out. And the chickens. Ah, oh, there's an onion here. And some grass. Hello, Poppy. Ruby. Apricot. Chamomile. Limerick. Nettle. Thank you all so much for the eggs. Come on out. And now to process all of that. So I was thinking that today we could go and taste the, uh, what was the other pasta? Well, in any case, the other new pasta dish that we discovered yesterday at the bistro but that we didn't eat because we wanted to eat and learn the Neapolitan pasta. So yeah, today we could go and have some of that pasta. That's that for the flowers for the day. Let's put the uh, wool in there. And the grass in here. And uh, we need a star snapper. Let's grab the nine star one. I'm sure that's good enough quality. Oh yeah, a gift for Jason, of course. And let's go. Oh yeah, this will be much quicker than running. We'll start by having that meal at the bistro. Hello Misaki. Genevieve's pasta, yeah. Nice. And once again, tummy's all full. And these recipes we already have. Let's get to the hotel. Hello, Lovett. See you later. Do you have any other new desserts? Mm, no, I think we have the recipes for all of these. Okay. Jason. Another watch to add to your collection. Yeah. 
Let's see about today's request. Ah, Manuela. Not Jason or Sydney. Let's head on over to Lovett's. And we'll prepare him a few more dishes. Aqua pasta and a white sweet cold juice. All right. Here we are. We're able to make this now. Let's see. Tomato, olive. And here we are. And the uh, white, sweet, cold juice. Coconut juice would qualify. But we need lemon marigold. Let's go home and get one. One lemon marigold coming right up. Hello, Simon and Jesse. Lemon marigold. And back to Lovettes. Oh, Lizette. Um, we need to remember to give her a peach. Didn't quite make it to bed by midnight last night. So we wake, we woke up too late to say good morning to our lovely wife. watermelon too. Uh-huh. That was excellent quality. All right. Ten stars or higher. Rosoli, I think, is one that requires like one of those special crops. Was it a sweet potato or a star potato? There's the Genovese pasta, piping hot entree, panna cotta, kimchi, warm sour yellow soup, grilled fish. Ooh, a lot of stuff. Fruit ole. Do we have that? I think that's a recipe we don't have. We may want to go to the bistro or hotel tomorrow and see about the other foods category. Maybe they'll have that there. Uh, which one of these would qualify as the uh, bright pink soup? This is pretty pink. But it's like, um, like a hot pink. Or m magenta or... Ooh. 
giant avocado. I don't think we've even seen any giant avocados yet. So it may be a while before we can make Genovese pasta. Golden drained rosemary. Alright. Oh, it didn't qualify. Well, let's try the sour cherry soup. I guess the uh, beet soup is like more of a red color, maybe. But this certainly is pink. Let's go see if that is what they're looking for. Yep. Okay. Golden Rain Rosemary. And a Peach Burly Zet. I kind of want to make as many of those dishes tonight as I can so that we can then easily focus on the difficult ones later without getting confused with all of the uh, the other ones. It's just easier to scroll through them and remember them when there are fewer dishes on the list. So yeah, I want to make those easier ones kind of out of the way. Hello, darling. Sorry I woke up so late. Let's make that panna cotta. There we are. And back to Lovettes. Didn't finest top quality. Okay, so 10 stars is not good enough. You have to get the kind of um, platinum star on top. Hmm, okay. What are the other ones? 10 stars is enough for those. Top quality, top quality. So, kind of everything that comes after the panna cotta needs to be top quality. And then everything before it. 10 stars is good enough. So maybe we'll make the 10 star quality requirements first. Kind of to get them out of the way. Um, let's see, grilled fish. Can we make a top quality grilled fish? by using a 9 star fish and a 10 star lemon. Probably not, right? Because the average between 10 and 9 stars is still like less than 10. 
although our cooking skill does add to it. So I guess maybe it could be possible. Is there some luck involved in whether or not the dish comes out as top quality or as 10 stars? Is there some kind of a chance modifier for it? There could be piping hot entree, rosoli. The uh, rosoli requires one of those special, um, special crops, and then the hot pot would be a piping hot entree, and that requires the giant leek. So. We'll get the giant leek and a giant sweet potato and a star potato because I don't remember which one was needed for the rosoli. And why not also try to make top quality grilled fish with a 10 star fish. We'll see if we can manage. Hot pot. This didn't need to be top quality. The um, 10 star quality was enough for this one. But it did come out as top quality. What about the grilled fish? Where was it again? Oh yeah, the Rosoli. We needed to make this too. And let's also add the vinegar. So that's done. Turned out top quality even though it didn't need to. Let's see about this grilled fish. 10 starfish and 10 star lemon. Only 10 stars. I guess there is some kind of um, like a luck thing involved. So that there's like a chance of it becoming top quality and then a chance of it just becoming 10 star quality. We'll have to catch a bunch of 10 star fish and try to make a top quality grilled fish dish. Do we have time to make the... because the cheesy dippable entree would be the... of course the um... the cheese fondue thing, wouldn't it? And I think we have the ingredients for that. So if we've got time to make it... I know we won't make it to bed by midnight again. I just, um, I want to hand in as many of these as I can tonight, so that we'll make the list 
of dishes to be delivered, smaller and easier to remember. Oh! Rude, just threw me out. Oh well, our inventory was pretty full anyway. We wouldn't have had room for the reward. Thank you for the ride, Moonbeam. Have a good night. We'll sell what we can and um, arrange the rest of our inventory in the morning. Let's just head indoors and get to bed. And of course, wish our cats good night. Yeah, we'll sort through our inventory in the morning. Thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. If you'd like to show some support, please leave this video a like and perhaps a comment too. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.